Okay, so this is my project for my nature project. It's basically just a simple fire alarm, but I designed it with the deaf in mind. So what happens is, when this sends a signal to the mobile phone, uh, instantly uh, it starts making a loud siren noise, followed by a fire, a picture of a fire on the interface. But because we're deaf, we don't hear this sound, so the phone starts to vibrate giving the deaf person the feeling, the feeling that it's a warning signal. And then, as an added extra feature, it calls the emergency services for us automatically. So most people, when they watch these videos, they just really want to see the thing working. So I'm going to show you it working, and then I will talk a little bit more about it. So first of all, let's open it up. Let's start it. Okay, all the green lights, everything's fine. Our Bluetooth is flashing, it's okay. Green light, okay, everything's good. Next we'll go to our mobile. First we have to Wi-Fi off, mobile data off, Bluetooth on. Okay, so we cancel this. We go to our app and we start the app. Please select module. So we select. Now we can't actually see it, but when we press on it, it comes up. Okay. Bluetooth connected. There you go. So that's our current reading 131. So let's start the fire. Now it's making the phone call. Okay, so that's it in action. Now let's talk a little bit more about it. So when we open it up, first of all we see a power pack. This is 5,200 milliamps, which is 5.2 volts. The signal, the voltage is sent to the Arduino Uno. Okay. Then as we move along, we can also see the Bluetooth, which is a HC05 module. Then we have two 120 ohm resistors for the LED lights. Next we have our MQ2 uh, gas sensor and our two buzzers. All this is connected to the Arduino. Uh, these were the different pins that we mentioned earlier. Okay, let's look at the code. So this is the code that's needed to program the Arduino. First of all, we need to set our variables. So the first thing we do is we have our sensor pin. Our sensor pin is A0 on the Arduino. And we put this at constant because it's telling the Arduino that this will always be the sensor pin. Next we have another constant which is the buzzer pin. And it's set to buzzer pin 10 and it will always be the buzzer pin. Next we have our integers. Now these are our variables for our red light and our green LED. The red LED is set to pin 12, green LED to pin 11. The next one is the smoke level. This is a storage space for the data from the MQ2 sensor to be stored. 
Next we are telling the, the Arduino how long to switch the red light on for and how long to switch it off for. This is measured in milliseconds, so this 250 is about one quarter of a second. Okay, so your Arduino program, hold on, basically has two parts to the program. We have a void loop and where's the other bit? Ah, the void setup and the void loop. Okay, so first of all, the void setup are things that's only going to happen once. These are the things that we need to tell it what to do on startup. So first of all, we need to tell it serial begin. How fast is the data going to be transferred at between the devices? Next, we need to set our pins, our pin mode. So our sensor pin is being set as an input. And the pin mode for the buzzer pin is an output because the buzzer can only receive output, it can only output sound. The pin mode for the red and LED lights are also set for output. Next the void loop, this is where it all happens. So the first thing we need to do is set a variable, analog read. This is telling us read the sensor pin. When the sensor pin gives you some data, store it in the smoke into the variable smoke level. Next, we want to write that smoke level variable to the screen, which is the numbers that we saw on the, the mobile device. Now, if that smoke level goes above 320, we want to send a digital write. A digital write is a 5 volt signal being sent to the buzzer pin and it's telling the buzzer pin to go high, which means on. Also, it's telling the red LED to go on. For the delay, to go on for the delay on, which was 50 milliseconds. Then it's telling the digital, the, the red LED to go off. Red LED off, remember, was 50 milliseconds. So it's going on, off, on, off, on, off. At the same time, we want it to tell the green LED to stay off. So all this is if the smoke level is above 320. But what happens when it's not above 320? That's when we go down to the else statement. Next, we want to send a 5 volt, a five volt signal to the buzzer pin to tell it to go to low, which means switch off. We also want to switch off the red LED but this time we want the green LED to switch on. So how long do we want it to switch on for? 50 milliseconds. How long do we want the green LED to switch off for? Delay, 250 milliseconds. So basically that is the program that is sent to the Arduino to tell it what to do. Okay, next. Next we have the software for the interface for the mobile phone. Again, for this one I used MIT App Inventor because I'm not the world's greatest programmer. This program is easy to use. You know, all you need to know is a basic understanding of how a program runs and the rest is just like building a jigsaw. So again, first we have to initialize our variables. We have our sensor, we have our Bluetooth address. We have our alarm, a time, and a picture. So what happens when we first fire it up? Well, we tell it to Bluetooth enabled. We need to send a call. Please select Bluetooth. So this is us sending us a message to the user to please select the Bluetooth. Uh, this is the Bluetooth connections. The image, this is the, the fire image that we see, we want it to be false at the moment because the alarm is not going off. So what happens next? We connect to the Bluetooth and we tell it connect it to Gary Macintosh. This is the Bluetooth device that I am connecting to. Okay, the next one we take is the, the picker, the address picker. Which Bluetooth device do we want to connect to? Oh. OK, 
Okay. So here we can select the Bluetooth that we want to. After picking, what happens next? We connect to the address from the list picker one. So whichever one we pick up here, list picker one is just uh, connected to here. Show alert, then we show the user that it's actually connected. And connect to Bluetooth enabled. Now this is the bulk of the program. This is where everything is happening. So let me go down a bit. So the Bluetooth is now connected and everything's okay. So what really happens is, it's down here. This is when the alarm goes off. So the first thing we want to do is play the sound, play the siren, show the picture, show the fire picture, make it visible. Then play the sound, that's the siren sound. Then vibrate the phone for 300 milliseconds. And these, these ones are just collecting the data from the pin to let it know when and when to activate this section. And basically that's it here. When the global sensor is less than the global alarm, which is the variables we set, then turn everything else to false, turn everything off. Okay, thank you very much for watching my videos.